In this lesson, we will start skin weighting the pants. So to get started, let's go ahead and unhide our pants geometry. Let's show our joints. And like we did with the arms, we'll go ahead and we'll add in a twist joint for both the thigh and the calf on each side. To do this, we can just go into our leg hierarchy, select the thigh, hit Control D to duplicate that thigh, and then you can hit, um, well actually, go ahead and open it up and delete its children. So I'll name this duplicate thigh twist L. Parent it underneath the thigh. That should zero out these attributes. And on X, just add a tiny, oops, let's see, let's add two. So we'll set translate X to two. That way it's not right on top of the joint. Whenever you have joints that are right on top of each other, the mirroring skin weights can get confused and um, swap which one gets the influence, or sometimes neither will get the influence, or both will get it. Um, basically, it's just good. You don't have to have it this far off. You could just have it like just a point two off. But um, in this case, I'm just going to lower the thigh twist down to two. Grab the calf, duplicate it, delete its children. Name this guy calf twist L. Oops. Parent it under the calf. That will zero out the translate X. And this guy, we want to actually put about halfway. So let's do, let's just put it at eight. And let's repeat this on the other side. So duplicate the thigh. Delete its children, rename it, thigh twist star. Parent it under the thigh. And in this case, you'll do negative two because X is now opposite. And do it with a calf. So delete its children, duplicate it. Calf twist R, parent it under the calf and set its translate X to negative eight. And we are good to go. So with that, let's go ahead and select our pants, select our pelvis, the thigh, calf, foot, ball. Actually, you don't need the ball, not in this uh, geometry. So thigh, calf, foot, pelvis, calf twist, thigh twist, same bones on the other side, and smooth bind. Let's hide our skin geometry. So for pants, just like the torso, go ahead and flood everything to the pelvis to get started. For the, the, for the leg, the first bone we actually want to weight, much like the upper arm, is going to be the thigh twist. So the idea of the thigh twist, like the upper arm, is that this area right here does not really twist that much. Um, this this area kind of tries tends to stay in terms of twisting where it was facing originally and then that twist kind of happens down the muscles down here. So that thigh twist is basically going to do that. So let's grab some verts and grow our selection at shift greater than. So we're going to grow it up until we get to that line. Okay, paint weights, select the thigh twist, and flood. Now this is going to look pretty ugly, but let's select the thigh and set some keys on it. So first, leg forward, leg backward, zero it out and then let's go leg out so rotate y so 
So this, now we can uh, hide our joints temporarily while we smooth out this area. So obviously here we could do a couple things. We could use our smooth brush. Um, hammer would be possible, but the edge loops are going to start getting really tricky. And here, actually that one's not so bad. But right around here is when the loop starts going around the entire body, whereas right here, this is where it continues to go um, just around the leg. And you want to be careful because what you, what you don't want to have happen, so if we hammered this, what you'll see, you don't want the thigh to lose volume like that. So what I like to do, let's start with a smooth. So let's go ahead. And what you want to do is lock everything except for the pelvis and thigh twist L. Those are the only two influences you want unlocked. Select thigh twist L, set it to smooth, and let's go back here, grow our brush, and just start smoothing this area. We'll clean up the results, but we just want to get that initial smooth. And again, be careful going too far down because you don't want the thigh to start losing volume. It's okay to put a little bit down here, but you don't want to put too much. Let's go to frame 20 and see how that is holding up. Now that the frame, uh, now that the uh, leg is back in this pose, now we can start smoothing out the front. Be careful how high you go, how high up the uh, pelvis, and don't go too low with your smooth, or else you're going to start getting collapsing. Let's take a look at the forward now. So it still looks good. We're getting a nice crease. Um, we could probably soften that out a little bit. So let's go into paint weights, go to add, set my value down. And what I'll do is I'm just want to, I want to get this, this uh, crease here to look a little bit better. The way to do that is to basically align these edges in a way so what's kind of hurting it right now is there's a vertice right there that needs to get some weighting. Let's go to frame 10, just a little bit more. So it's looking, I'll have to look at it without uh, the, oops, without the painting grayscale on it here in a second. Actually, you can do that without having to leave paint mode. You can actually just scroll down here, go to display, and turn off color feedback, and turn off wireframe. That way you can kind of look at it as if you were just in selection mode, but you're still in painting. So we can turn it back on, keep working. The uh, the first bone, the thigh, you know, the first bone in the limb is usually the hardest one because how it connects to its parent is uh, super important. I mean, the knee is going to be a little bit. You know, it's a little hard on the knee too to make sure that you uh, don't get like a a noodle, like a bent soft noodle. You want it to maintain its structure. 
but here I'm just evening out some of the spikes that came from the smoothing which there's not too many so it's not too bad Let's look at this pose. Let's look at the leg out pose. So there's a little bit of work that could be done here. Um, we'll do that in the next video. So that will conclude this one. In the next one, we'll continue polishing the, uh, the pant weights. So I'll see you then.